Good morning guys, how are we all doing? Hope we all had a great weekend. I am Dan from Trading with Dan. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button and we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin four hour charts. So yeah, Bitcoin on the four hour over the weekend, we had some nice bullish price action into into um into our pretty major level of uh, resistance here. As you can see, we still we still kind of struggling with it um just probably around just below it at the moment. Um I believe what we are waiting for is for these cash markets to open to see how how uh how the stock markets uh, interact how how the S&P at least interacts with this horizontal here it would be a relatively logical uh place uh for a pullback maybe we come down and back test around the 4400 uh level uh before then uh well consolidating this area and then and then plowing onto the upside maybe we do continue straight on upwards but uh, but as you know, things don't continue upwards in a straight line. Um, but yeah, the crypto price action this weekend uh, has probably done uh, done what we can expect based off obviously the really good closes that we had uh, in this in this in the stock markets on Friday. Uh, so yeah, now it is a case of do we get further upside? Do we get a pullback? Um, if we get a pullback, Bitcoin moment will most likely have a pullback. If we con if we blast through this area. Uh, it would look as very good for stock uh, stock markets, and then we could realistically, uh, over over time, uh, be targeting new all time highs. Um, so yeah, it will be it will be an it will definitely uh, be an interesting week. We've also got a bit of risk off going on with um, risk on, sorry, uh, indicated by uh, the Ethereum Satoshi pairing. It did uh, break through this downward channel. Uh, that we that we were looking at we then had this horizontal resistance to get through we we uh we stuttered a little bit then broke through back tested it and now we're looking now we are trying to uh four check back check and pay check onwards and upwards basically above uh well realistically we want to get up into this area here uh i'm sure it was no doubt helped with um with uh, uh, Vitalik uh, Buterin being on the uh, on the front page of a of a ma major publication, I'm sure that did um, draw some extra attention to Ethereum, um, and yeah, made people realise that it is the superior asset uh, to Bitcoin. It is also going to be the green asset. It is going to be the proof of stake asset, uh, as bad or good as whatever you think it is or not. But at the end of the day. Uh, full decentralization full libertarianism all that fun stuff is all is all great uh but it everything is always a balance and you're never really going to kind of get uh, get the uh, the perfect uh the perfect asset or uh, or political system or anything or for the yeah, form of government or 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 judicial system you never end up with perfect everything's compromises and i think crypto in in crypto i think ethereum is uh is a very good compromise to bitcoin so yeah that's enough shilling ethereum obviously you can see against bitcoin here it's got lots of lots lots of work to do um but yeah could this be a low could we blast on take out new highs in this over over this year we shall have to see we shall have to see what happens with proof of state the only real problem with the uh we'll obviously uh the merge and going into proof of state that i see um and probably the reason why the price action isn't more bullish against Bitcoin uh, is just the fact that all of the Ethereum that is locked up in the stake in, in E2.0 will then become available. And obviously a lot of those people will be in massive profits and there'll be a certain amount of profit taking, no doubt. Uh, so that obviously people are thinking, well, all that's going to get released. Maybe we get a dump, our buyback in then and then that'll be the BT, the BT, BTFD and then, yeah, Ethereum to the moon. So it, if it wasn't for that, I'm sure Ethereum would be a lot higher, would be a lot higher relative to Bitcoin, but uh, there, there is that. So, I mean, there's obviously a risk involved in there, uh, and uh, to a certain extent, it, make, it makes a lot of sense just to, just to wait and see, basically. Ethereum on the USD pairing, uh, trying to get, well, got above our resistance area here, uh, broken out of the pennant. Is this a, uh, is this a literally, uh, to the tick, uh, break out and then back test because it literally looks like it is uh but yeah it's just and then do we continue onwards and upwards without with our paycheck obviously we've got to get back at well pretty much three thousand 
um, get above this high, these three thousand. Yeah, we should we should see an acceleration over 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 time, at least up to three thousand four hundred, and then yeah, is that is that a lower high? Do we are we actually in a longer term downtrend? Are we testing lower, or can we break above there, continue onwards and upside to new all time highs? Obviously, as ever the optimist, you know what my my guess is, but we'll have to see what happens. Uh, I think like been saying in a few previous videos we're going to get an ever an increase an ever increasing sustained bid uh, from the weaponizing weaponization and then the desperation displayed by finance 1.0 the authoritarians the global elites all those uh all those literally uh uh, comic book villains that literally are like uh, just they're, they're like the they're the real life personification of of uh, of textbook uh villains uh but yeah all those people we need to like there will be a constant bid trickling away from obviously what they are doing and like it's becoming more apparent to everybody uh but yeah oil having a nice little bounce here structurally we know this is this is bullish uh Structurally, we know this is bullish. So yeah, whilst this was overdone, pulled back to a very nice logical area. Now getting a bit of a pullback. So we'll have to see where this uh, settles out. I wouldn't be surprised if we end up with uh, if we end up with uh, like I don't know. We'll just draw it in roughly here, just for like pure speculation, something like this. And then ultimately, well, my guess would be break to the upside unless we. Uh, hit a uh, pretty uh, and i would have to say a pretty bad recession so potentially depression because we can still get this going up in a recession uh but yeah maybe we're going to do something like this consolidate sideways volatility tighten and then bust on bust on a, a, a direction uh we and uh, just well just hanging around uh maybe this is probably about a fair value we'll have to see what happens here uh, anything else you want to look at on here gold practically uh getting wrecked as we can see this is a not looking the most the most bullish uh, bullish chart. The ten years squeezing on upwards, but this is looking like it is to looking toppy. Uh, it is looking like it could potentially um, have a pullback. But uh, yeah, if this is going to be a bull flag, then uh, then yeah, uh, just let's just do it for speculation. It's going to be a bull flag. Then basically, finance 1.0 wrecked. And we're not even finance 1.0. Just the world. The world is wrecked. We can't afford. We basically can't afford a ten year at uh yeah over two and a half percent but we'll just have that in just as a pure speculation this is one of the things that like you look at it oh it's ridiculous we're not going to do that and then just market to do the what you don't think they're going to do but hey <laughs> that that is that <clears throat> dollar index though potentially looking like we could uh we could we could uh try and play at some downside trying to try and play it out uh a move to the upside if we look at this on a uh we'll look at it on a daily first um yeah you can kind of see all we've really been doing uh, for a while is just kind of trading sideways. Uh, and yeah, so can we trade high? We certainly can. Uh, will we? Uh, is the is it likely that we do just continue within this sideways pattern that we've had literally since uh, basically the last seven years? Uh, well, the trend is your friend. So then, yeah, that could indicate downside and that could indicate a good uh, a good move for risk. Risk on assets, obviously crypto being pretty much the riskiest risk on asset. Although, like we said, we want this sustained bid coming from the people that realize Finance 1.0 is, uh, is, is, is fully weaponized and will be even more so going forwards. Uh, let's have a look at stochastics now, finally. Uh, four hour getting uh, coming down, looking looking to lose its downside, but still obviously pointing down. So we still got downward pressure here. Ten hour turning down from a high level now. Uh, Twelve day looking toppy, but not turned down down yet. Week daily still looking good. Uh, by daily looking to potentially turn down here. Three day pointing up at the moment, but as you can see, not doing too much. Then five day and weekly looking looking relatively good. Uh, by weekly coming down so uh, yeah uh, we could um, we could see a pullback here I think we've just got to keep an eye on what happens with this when the cash markets open because I mean trading is a game of levels horizontal levels I think are the are the better ones uh, to look at and this would be a perfect level for uh, some selling to come in either fresh selling for people wanting to uh, exit certain things or uh, people uh basically uh selling their longs that they've been buying or accumulating in here and then yeah we've got to see if more if we can basically overcome that selling pressure and continue upwards or whether we do get a pullback but like I, like what i'm alluding to my guess is we potentially get a pullback uh and then yeah maybe a bit of downside but overall 
Um, overall, I do think we are looking good for moves to the upside uh, here. I do think there's a lot of FUD in world markets. Um, yeah, there's a lot of FUD. Uh, and yeah, interesting point made about all the rate raises that are going to be factored in. There's actually a a between a 50% chance that we have a uh, a 50 basis point rate hike uh, for the next uh, the next Fed decision, and that would be uh, it would be pretty bad. The problem is people are basically saying um, people are saying that. Um, People are saying that we're not going to get these rate rises this year because obviously it will break something, but that is true. But then if it breaks something, you're going to get the downside move anyway. So people are hoping that we don't get these rate raises, rate rises, uh, and then that markets will continue to the upside. Uh, there is a flaw in that logic, which is obviously then if we don't get those rate rises, <laughs> rate raises, that's because we've basically uh, broken something with like one, two, or maybe three, uh, and the market raise raises, and the market is then uh, the markets are then basically suffering because of that. So either way, it's the same outcome. So yeah, it is difficult. It is a difficult market to navigate this year. Uh, not. <laughs> Uh, is it? Yeah, it's just we are we are in diff, difficult geopolitical, financial, finance, one point oh, Fed banking, currency. There's loads of the, like commodities, inflation, everything. There is so much wild stuff going on at the moment. All I would say is that crypto is something that is there uh, as a as a a potential. Uh, it has a use. It has a use which you can argue in that sort of unstable environment could become. Uh, well, increasingly useful. Um, so yeah, let's hope. Let's hope we continue. We continue doing well uh, in light of what could be pretty, pretty tough times for uh, certain other asset classes. So yeah, there we go, guys. Remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your own research, and I shall speak to you guys soon.